Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur bantamweight contest contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has a, a record of eight wins with five defeats. He represents the Academia Unlimited. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexandra Rita! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has a record of nine wins, five defeats. He represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Fry! And our referee is Mr. Nico Joka. Big reception for Zach Fryer at UKC 24. Pressed the man in the red corner. Fine out of Northwest Fight Academy. Taking on Academia Unlimited's Alexandria Rita. Fry, obviously, a big favourite. Here in Preston, never in a boring fight. No, absolutely not. And among some of the more experienced amateurs we have here, these two lads. Yeah, Rita going for a leg lock attack. Looking to isolate that leg. Looks for, potentially for a straight knee bar, which is good. Looks like uh, he's a well-versed leg lock guy. He can't use heel looks under this amateur rule set, but yeah, certainly. Uh, all oh, three of his leg entanglements, oh. but guillotines are what Zach Fry does well. And looks for the oh, switches to the anaconda. And that looks tight, hits her in, driving, he's got the leg trapped. This could be all she wrote for Rita. Readjust. Re Snap. Yeah, that does look tight. Yeah, it looks painful on the neck as well, but how durable, how resilient is Rita there? And what is it? Is it just not got a bite? Wait, like, how is he defending this? I think his chin's in a little. You see, it's across his chin a little bit, not clean on the neck. And that's what's giving him uh, space for the blood, blood flow to pass through his neck. But now with this readjustment, this could be the one. You see, his choking forearm was mostly, it was across oh, his chin. decided to give up onto the back. But again, you see, Rita there was chasing the leg. Yeah, getting that roll, hoping to land in an e-bar. Fred's got to be careful of the triangle here with his head low like that and one arm in. Got yeah. posture up, does a good job of getting out of it. Posture's up straight, then immediately goes head into chest. Oh, fast paced grappling so far. When you're fighting someone who's so willing to sort of engage off the back and on the ground, chasing things like legs, does it, does it make you second guess going down there? Because it's not conventional that amateurs hunt the, the knee bar or, or... Yeah, I mean, that depends. The thing with that is, it does offer up a lot of positions for ground and pound and a lot of potential for passing. Depends how confident Zach Fry would be in his leg lock defense. If you're confident in it, you'd welcome it, try and pass off it and land good shots. Looking if you're not, maybe back out and disengage. Again, looking for the leg, looking for the knee bar. Underhooking that leg and trying to work it across, right, but just Fry, trying to, yeah, yeah, good job. Fry staying with him very nice. We got a bit of a scramble there. We get to the stalemate. Fry, oh, nice hip right, toss. Bill yeah. Brown, is he on the arm? Oh, the triangle he is. Oh, oh, no, he couldn't tighten it up. He's going to have a second bite of that now triangle. It is. Underhook the leg. That one looks really tight. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds to go. Can Rita hold out? Oh, it looks like he's going to make it. He looks like he's going to hold out. And that's the end of the round, and wow. That's one of the more entertaining all grappling rounds uh, yeah, of Amateur May I've seen for a long time. I'm going to have to concur with you there. And what are you, what are you asking them to do different? Just keep going. I'm enjoying it. Just do, keep doing that. Okay, so one round in the books. Fascinating round, Steve. I think uh, Zach Fry heading it had some tight submission attempts. I'm not going to say it was saved by the bell necessarily, but that triangle looked really tight as well. So two deep submission attempts. But Rita never out of it, was always looking for stuff. Uh, but I think one in the books for Zach Fry. Oh, yeah, I would, I would think so just, just for the amount of pressure he put him under with the submission attempts. 
Well, are we going to get two more like that? That guy's got a big smile on his face. He's enjoyed that first round. Here we go. Rita came out slugging in round one, but a nice high kick from Fry. Oh, oh and a big straight leg. And, and another one. On the neck again. Yeah, and he might stand up for the guillotine, or he might snap him down for the uh, anaconda. So I've seen Fry yeah. land guillotines before. He's good with that. Oh, he ch changed up, chased for the single, but good takedown defense from Reed. I say as Fry bypasses that and rips yeah. him down to the canvas. There's a nice single leg there from Fry. We saw Reed potentially thinking about the rubber guard, but with that butterfly hook stuck in, it's hard to get. It off from there, really. But Fry's got the bottom arm trapped. Landed. Did have briefly. Started to land a few shots there. Did Fry? To see if Rita remains sort of aggressive off his back, searching for limbs right now. Fry just getting the posture. Yeah, I mean, it has to be said, you know. Inverting, going for all sorts, Rita from the bottom, but he's not made anything stick. The only one that's made anything stick out of the pair of them is Zach Fry, despite all Rita's attempts on the legs, which is in on again. In on again. Zach Fry's happy though, weight's heavy through that leg. Rita's not going to be able to extend it very easily as long as he keeps the weight and knee on the mat. Doing a good job of defending that. But I can't tell one of them begins and the other one ends at the moment. <laughs> Human spaghetti. But yeah, Zach doing the, all the right stuff, keeps his weight down through the knees. He's not letting uh, his hips get elevated, which means it's really hard for the guy in the bottom to get access to the leg that he wants. And now lost it completely and Fry looking to, no, still chasing the leg. Got a hold of the left leg again, does Rita. Yeah, Fry sitting his weight on it, lands a couple of shots. Very confident with his uh, submission defense in these scenarios. Nice little scramble there, but Zach onto the back. Yeah, got a solid back control there. Fishing under. Rita's got good defense. He's obviously a seasoned grappler. He might be able to turn in there, but Fry, good job of working his way, not getting out angled. Body triangle, triangle now. Yeah, and just sticking to him like Louis Fry until he gets the opportunity to open up. Landing his shots, and now he's feeding the left arm underneath. It's over the chamber, that doesn't mean it can't be finished. <laughs> and another round in the books. And again, right at the end of the round, the last thing in the eye of the judge is Fry on top. And I would suggest that Alexandra Rita's got a bit of work to do in this round. Yeah, you know, he, for all he's trying, he's been trying to get on a leg, he's been trying to attack, not been able to make anything work for him, and uh, it's been Fry who's landed all the damaging shots, had the tight submission attempts, had all the better positions. Yeah, he's definitely two rounds up, two strong rounds up at this point. And uh, he's had an answer for, for everything Rita's had to throw him to. And, and how often, like I can't, rec I, I think I've called a good deal of Zach Fry's fights with you. I don't recall anybody sort of going after the leg like that ever in his fighting career. So that's stuff that's learned in the gym, learned in training and sparring. But he's had very little opportunity to put it into practice in the cage until tonight. Yeah, it shows what, what you see on fight night a lot of time is the tip of the iceberg compared yeah. to the depths that you have to actually go to, the knowledge you have to have to compete. Well, touch gloves, show our respect, here we go. And again, Fry has that little bit of, that little bit of range and length if he wants to work behind the straight shots, the long kicks. Yeah, and I don't know, I'm just seeing it, but with the leg locks and stuff and the look, the hair, I mean, it's a bit of a uh, bit of Gary Tonnen in, uh, in hey. here, I think. Spinning back kick there from straight under single, step behind trip, on top. Looking to try and get past that knee shield. 
Yeah, Rita used that knee shield to try and keep his man elevated to get to the legs, which is not working. Fr Fry's savvy to it now. Although, it's it would seem that on the feet. Oh, Rita yeah. is in a good position now off the back of that. First time we've seen him on top, I think. Yeah, and, I was, and I was just thinking, you know, Zach was doing well in the, you know, in the stand-up, sort of picking his shots. He let Rita sort of come to him to get the takedowns. And oh, on the platter. This is the second of those we've seen tonight. Yeah, more soft and a sweep for MMA. Good way to get back up on top. Uh, although they can be finished. I did have finished one more in my amateur career, but that was 15 years ago, so. Good luck, do you remember the opponent? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good work. Sitting on that bottom leg in the half guard is a good way of, um, of keeping the hips and legs controlled. The fright, you know, he, does, he likes to strike as well usually, but he's got a game plan in mind tonight, and he's staying strong with it. Real grapple heavy, wrestle gonna, heavy, he's doing a great job. Gonna grapple the grappler, right, so. And I knew, I knew Rita was going to roll through with that knee by there. Roll over the shoulder, try to hit the leg. Fry's doing a good job of keeping his leg tucked in behind so that uh, Rita can't free it out and straighten it because the knee bar would be a danger. All right, if, he, if he can't pull it out from behind his leg, then yeah, he's not going to get it out from there. Good job, Fry, again. And Rita sort of looked up to his corner oh like, God, yeah, yeah. none of this is working. What do I do? Fry, though, looking at... Yeah. But again, we forget, you know, eight and Out five records. a big squeeze. Eight and five record for Rita. Only a one fight difference in Fry's record in nine and five, so. Oh, sp turns into him, spins into him, lovely. Looking to throw some shots. To end the round is yeah. Alexandra Rita. Fry looking for his armbar oh. as well. Trying to get it, it's not long left, it's seconds left, literally. Can he get the finish? Oh, no. third, third, third time in a row, the end of the round, he's had something on. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and a, a workman-like performance, right? Never looked in trouble, never looked at it, Brett, never looked panicked. Yeah, I mean, it's quite clear that Rita is a strong grappler, and Zach Fry just completely outgrappled him, looked really good. Uh, I think that's one of his best performances, and I think we've seen most of them. I and think, I think so. that's up there with his best. While uh, we don't make decisions, somebody else does. We'll uh, take it into the cage for the official decision. Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, first off, let's give these two fighters a big round of applause, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard, and we have a unanimous decision. All in favor of the fighter in the red corner, Zach Fry! And ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for a game opponent, Alexandra Rita.